Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how much money will you need to get started in business? And to attempt to answer this question, I'm gonna ask you to be very open-minded. As a thought experiment, just think about the concepts I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm gonna give you the most practical answer I could possibly give about how much money you'll need to get started. So, a while back, when I was first getting into business, this was one of the questions that really plagued my mind. How much money would I need to get started? Would I be able to start from zero dollars? Would I need a thousand dollars? Would I need millions of dollars of capital? And the question begs the answer, it depends, right? But before I get to the it depends part, I do want to preface it with something else. A long time ago, when I first was doing business, I realized that to ask this question really misses the point of how entrepreneurship and business works. I can tell you, you could go to any business person, there he is right now, and I bet they'll tell you that they could always use more capital. Even when you look at publicly traded companies and stuff like that, like Apple and things like that, the reason they're issuing stock is because they're looking for more capital. So the question is, if these big time corporations, these big time companies always feel like they need more money, do you think there's a dollar amount that can really say, oh, this is how much money I'm gonna need? What I'm trying to get in your head is that no matter what amount of money you think you might need, you're not going to have enough money to get started. Now, before you get discouraged and say, cut the video off and say, oh shit, well, that's not what I wanted to hear. I want to then preface it with something else. While you may not have the money you need to get started, there is one resources, resource rather, that I can tell you that will get you to the next level and really get you all the money you need. A while back I was watching a seminar and they said that one of the best talents that any entrepreneur can have is resourcefulness. Now, if you know my story or if you've listened to my story, you know I started off with a bank account that was overdrawn, negative $107.35. Negative $107.35. So I had zero money. I had less than zero money. So how did I get started? And I can tell you it's resourcefulness. Now, a lot of stuff we're gonna be discussing in this course, a lot of stuff we're gonna be giving you in this course is gonna teach you how to do things like get capital from investors and stuff like that. But the thing I want you to really realize is how you invest your money is what it's gonna come down to. Let's say you're starting a drop shipping business. Well, really, it's not gonna take that much to get started. They say $0, but you're gonna to have to pay for stuff like hosting fees. And if you can't pay $10, $15 for hosting fees, I'm gonna be very blunt with you, you don't fucking deserve to start a business because you're missing the point that you're going to have to invest something. When I first started, I had to scrounge together money to get $300 to incorporate my business so I could do things the legit way. It was $300. If, whether I had to borrow from people, whether I had to do odd jobs, whatever it is, I just invested that time into the business. So, in your current situation, I'm pretty sure what you're doing, you might not need that much money to get started. Unless you're building some massive prototype or you're doing something like a construction company or something like that, you're not gonna need ridiculous amounts of capital to get started. But you are going to have to be resourceful. You are going to have to say, okay, I'm going to figure out ways to get this money. Is it exchanging skills and services for something that you might be doing? Like, I had a good friend. He used to cut hair. He used to cut hair. And what he did, he used haircuts in order to get the things he needed. So if he didn't have money for services, he would literally cut their hair in exchange for services. And this is what I'm talking about, being resourceful. Now, the reason, once again, I'm saying all this, just to wrap this up and recap here at the end, is that there's no amount of money that you're going to need particularly to get started. To answer that question would be almost impossible because there's so many different variations in business. But I will say, if you, if you learn to cultivate this skill of resourcefulness, it's not gonna matter how much money that it is that you have to get because you're just gonna learn how to be resourceful enough to require. All you have to think about is are you willing to start cultivating that skill set of being resourceful in order to be successful? And we're gonna teach you a lot in this, bit, in this course in order to help you be more resourceful. So with that being said, remember that, take that lesson to heart, uh, keep taking action, and enjoy the rest of the course.